Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 664. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 661 to 671. Hey, we're talking about the aggregate function, a new function in Excel 2010. I have some notes over here. We've been talking about all the different functions, 19 as compared to 11 for subtotal and all these amazing options for avoiding hidden rows or error values. Now in this one we want to look at this one. Uh, ignoring nested subtotals and aggregate functions. Now this is not something I do often, but I know that people do do this. Here's subtotals, right? So we've added, uh, we, we use the subtotal feature um, and I have videos on that if you want to search for those, but here this is all automatic, but there's a calculation subtotal subtotal. And this one is, this particular one is adding. So people sometimes have values and subtotal calculations in a column. And what the aggregate function can do is it allows you to highlight the whole column and the aggregate function will ignore any subtotals. So it's like a lazy man's way of doing additional calculations on the side and just highlighting the whole column. Now here's what would happen if you highlighted the whole column, right? Average. I want to calculate the average. It's going to include that and that. One way to get around that is to use average and have different ranges. That's why you have all these different option, these uh, number arguments here. So I highlighted just the ones and I myself manually skipped over those, but forget it. Uh, you can do this uh, with the aggregate aggregate function. Now we want, there's uh, three arguments for us because we're doing the first, uh, one of the first team, 13 functions. So I'm going to pick my function, comma, and then I'm going to pick my um, option. This is the option argument. Now we've already looked at a bunch of hidden rows and error values ignoring them, but now we want to ignore nested subtotals and aggregate. Actually, when I first saw that nest, that word nested there, uh, I got confused because I think of nesting as putting functions inside of functions, but they mean nested in a column like this with values above and below. So we're going to select this zero. Getting this way off the screen, sorry about that. And then finally, uh, comma, our, our, our reference right here, not the array. I'm going to highlight that. Control shift down, or I got all the subtotals and everything. All right, enter. Now, interestingly enough, subtotal actually can do this also. Subtotal, we do a one. And actually, if you just doing this particular calculation, it's probably easier to do subtotal because you have to enter in one fewer arguments. Exactly the same thing. You can see those two functions here. However, where the, the aggregate starts to kick into high gear is median and mode. So if I take the same function right here uh, and change the median is 12. So you can see right down here, median is 12. That's just not available in subtotal. Similarly, if you were doing mode, it would be 13. So the argument would be 13 here. Right? So you can see that's the mode single. That's the new way they represent mode. Mode is the one that occurs most frequently. Median is the one that's in the middle when their list is sorted. Median, mode, and average, which is really arithmetic mean, are all types of averages or measures of central tendency. Totally important that we have at mean, mode and median. Mean is for most numeric data. Median is for where, when the data set has extreme values, like some really bigger, really small values, and you don't want to skew your average calculation. And mode is for qualitative data, where it's not number and you're counting. So totally important. And that's where uh, the aggregate function is much better than the subtotal. Again, in this video we saw this option right here which was to avoid including in the calculation nested subtotals or aggregates. So the one we saw, we just did this one right here. I've been adding yellow color as we uh, go through our list and look at all the different examples. Now actually we're not going to look at uh, too many of these. We saw some combination ones down here. Ignore hidden rows, subtotals, aggregate. 
error values and then hidden rows and error values with the subtotal. All right, so it looks like we pretty much looked through everything in here. Now, coming up in our next few videos, actually we'll look at the next one will be filtered and then we'll look at some array formula examples. All right, see you next video.